Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today we're going to take a look inside Lanterns, the Harvest Festival. It is from Foxtrot Games and Renegade. Uh, it plays two to four, uh, ages eight and up. I played this on the uh, iPad and uh, iPhone, and it's a fun game. Um, playing a little more uh, two and three player games now with my family, so... Uh, uh, Asked for this for Christmas and got it. Thank you, my love. And uh, so, thought I'd go ahead and take a look uh, at what's inside. Uh, I took the shrink off, but haven't gone through it yet. So, curious to see what is in it and how it uh, how it stacks up to the digital version. So, just pop it off here and start out. You got a rule book. It's not a very difficult game. So, uh, and apparently, you can go to lanternsgame.com and uh, watch a video and learn how to play. So, based on what I know again from the iOS game, it's uh, it's a pretty pretty easy game to play. Um, full color rule book. Uh, you're gonna get glossy glossy stocks, about 12 pages. Uh, just uh, play examples, uh, rules, turn examples. Looks to be very well well documented. Of course, I'm gonna go into it not fully blind since I do know how to play. So, uh, all right. So there we go. All right, so now we have punch boards. There are six of them, and on each one it's going to contain six uh, of the tiles, the lantern tiles, and so it obviously it's going to give you 36 of them. They're thick, they feel thick. They punch out, very sturdy, a little thinner than other games, but still don't seem flimsy or, or curling or anything like that. Um, and then you've also got your uh, rewards uh, tokens. They go here, they'll stack up. So you got five of those per sheet, so there'll be 30 of those. Doing my higher math. They punch out all easily again, the same, same cards, to, uh, same uh, chipboard, so they're just as thick. They seem like they'll stack well. So you're going to get six of those sheets right here. Uh, I know some of these are for when you, if you match. Um, one of each color, you'll get those. If you match four of one color, you'll get those. If you match two each of three colors, you'll get one of those. So uh, they stack up and you take them in descending order of points. So you score more points early on, less points going down. Now, um, includes these uh, nice wooden counters. So those are four. Some of these, these you get if you match uh, I believe one of uh, against one of these tiles. You make a match, and then you get a, a counter, and then you can use those to as coins to trade in uh, one of your uh, lanterns for another color lantern to make your pattern. So uh, there may be other options as well. Very nice wooden uh, laminated uh, on top of the paint. So very good quality. Cool. Little chips, like little little wooden nickels, but these are probably these are probably actually more the size of a wooden nickel. Uh, wooden nickels used to be about the size of a silver dollar. So anyway, so you get a bag of those. You get a boat, which I would guess is the first player marker. Uh, usually those things are for that. Let's see. Yep, start player marker. Favor tokens are what those are called. You got your lake tiles. I'm calling them the wrong thing because I just play them. Uh, and then you get your lantern cards, which are the lanterns you receive. So. Again, in the digital version, these are just a little, little, uh, uh, your little counter just ticks up that you have them. So I've never actually seen what really happens. So you're going to get these cards as well. And they're just some of each color. And there may be variations of uh, how many go out per player, you know, number based on number of players, because I know that you can, you can run out of the supply. And so that's some of the strategy is, you know, you may be blocking somebody to uh, keep them from getting a card. All right. So these do are a linen finish. And they're not, uh, they're not shuffled. They're just markers. Uh, if you wanted to, I suppose you could replace these with cubes or something to make it a little easier. But you don't shuffle them. You just set them out. So uh, each of the colors here is represented. So it looks like you got one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of each color. And I think they're in seven colors. So, uh, yeah, so 56 cards. 
and then some little reminders for your different dedications. And then you can exchange, you spend two of those favor tokens to get those. Uh, you can dedicate and then you can place a tile. So this is what you do in turn is if you need to do that. Dedicating means you're putting those lanterns, dedicating them to the memory of a loved one, something like that. And then we have ads for Relic Expedition. Cool. Another game. Awesome. So if you pick up lanterns, the Harvest Festival, nice little uh, quick play game for uh, two to four. Uh, you're going to get the stack of cards. You're going to get a baggie to put the cards in. You're going to get your favor tokens, very nice wooden wooden tokens. You're going to get a rule book, and you're going to get six punch boards with your uh, dedication markers and your lake markers. And that is what comes inside Lanterns of the Harvest Festival. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!